The number of youth that are being brought in has definitely increased. Overcrowding and understaffing. I think we have a bigger problem. A growing concern at the county's youth detention center. We have done our best to try to attract individuals into the facility to come in and work. Four teenagers released to their guardians. And this goes back to, I think, all of us coming to the table to figure out what's an alternative. If, if we can't bring them into our actual facility, is there another means for us to utilize? They were caught red-handed in the city-owned bait car. Take a left, trust me. One of them seen here brandishing a gun outside of the car window. Can't even take a left. Just moments before their arrest. We'll leave here. The car turned off. Hey, wait, Teen violence. But today we have a crisis. The governor telling us there is more work to be done. It's everywhere, but it plays out in Albuquerque in these high schools. And as you mentioned right here, the youth detention center finding ways to help ease the strain. We have an academy class running right now as we speak um, with 26 individuals that are set to graduate. The first of them to graduate on the 22nd of this month and the second to graduate two weeks after that, which will boast our numbers up to just about 64 within the facility. All in efforts to safely detain juveniles. Once that number raises, then we can raise the overall census within the facility and not turn individuals away.